Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Artist Talk at New Hope Art Gallery. And today we are featuring um, a very talented young man. I'm going to call you a young man, um, Jay Eggy. And so say hi, Jay. Hello. <laughs> See, Jay's very friendly. Um, Jay's been showing with us actually from probably the very beginning. The gallery's been in, in existence for about five years, and he was showing with us at the older location. And now we're at our new location, which is the Cranston Senior Enrichment Center on Cranston Street in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Jay, and uh, then we'll take a look at some of your, of your art. Well, I'm, uh, I'll be 79 years young on October 22nd. Yeah, and you are very young. <laughs> and uh, I didn't start painting uh, until I was 64 years old. Really? I didn't know that. Right. I did, uh, I was an electrical engineer and went into, after engineering, went into marketing and sales and uh, visited a lot of museums where I got my love of art. Um, and then... Uh, so you never, you never took classes or anything? As I, a when I retired, after my second uh, heart bypass, I retired and uh, took classes at RISD at night in the continuing ed. Oh, good. And I took about 20 classes there. And uh, I ended up taking uh, oil painting, drawing, and I really liked the narrative painting class and medieval uh, art painting class I took. I kind of fell in love with the mediums of encaustic and egg tempera and oil and gilding. Which would have been used in those, right. yeah, and in I those times. And I did uh, start, when I was doing my first work, I started in drawing and then oils. And here's an example of one of my early oils down here. That okay. is a uh, still life of, and it has a lot of the treasures I collected over in Europe when I went over there on vacation. So, and, uh, what did you just sort of place them in a nice arrangement and draw yes, it? Yes, I, I, I took a board and put them up on the board in the arrangement that I wanted, and I painted from there. And I tried to get a little Trump boy effect, you know, a fooly eye uh, type of effects with it. And uh, then the next thing I uh, went to was a combination, mixed media paintings. Mm -hmm. This is a combination of, an, of oil, egg tempera, and caustic, um, and um, collage. Oh, okay. Now, is there a specific order you need to put things on in if you're working with such a array of... Uh, yeah, you know? a little bit. I mean, you kind of have to plan it out you, and put your... Uh, Oil painting and egg tempera painting. That's egg tempera. That's oil. Do the oh, painting on there. Let them dry. These the egg tempera. And then you put your encaustic, your wax down in, and I take and and inscribe writing into the wax mm -hmm. to explain the painting, the characters in the painting, and. And then you seal over with the wax. Now, do you have to put some kind of an additive into the wax itself? Or? No, no the wax is wax just... Caustic wax I'm going to get a nice close-up of, of the, the... So this where the writing is, is, is the encaustic. Right. And also there's wax in various places. Oh, in like various... Okay, I see them now a little bit right there. Through. You see, yeah. you see uh, the wax in there. And I use nice. the wax a lot... And then I usually, in every allegory, I write a poem and I. Oh, okay, put the I poem see. Oh, I'm now I'm noticing too. There's that. Yeah, there really is. Like each frame is all encased in wax too. This is called a serial narrative painting, almost like a comic book. Yeah. This is a comic Beautiful. book on the life of Merlin. Okay, nice. So now you must have to, I would think, map it all out um, yeah. Yeah, before yeah, because when you've got that much. You know, separate scenes in you each have to piece. Plan it. Yes. Yeah. Nice. 
Really beautiful. And now how long would something like this take oh, you to... Oh, that a couple of months at least. And because yeah. you're not working on it all the time. Yeah, you've and got you to, to take a break in between. Right, and when you make your encaustic, you have to use a palette of uh, 275 degrees to oh, melt the okay. wax. To and melt it, okay. You have to kind of plan the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, and so the wax would be the final... The final the, stage of it all. Well, the wax probably would go on first. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, you can do some painting. Yeah. But you don't want to get the oil underneath where the wax is going to be. Oh, okay. Interesting. I would always. Yeah. I assumed it would be the just the opposite. Yeah. No. Yeah. Cool. No. Okay. So now we have, and now, so I now I got into the, all these mediums. And first, I, you started first, with. And I did a yeah. lot of work. Okay. Sold a lot of work with it, and then. Uh, and you did you I did a lot of oil, st strictly oil paintings too, yeah, right? These, yeah. These yeah. Oil, okay. So. Now, was it? Isn't there? Is this kind of a series to this? Yeah. I, this yeah. Is, there's actually three of these paintings. Three of this yeah. alone. This is a triptych. Right? Okay. There's All right. Three, and three then of these this. Paintings, and this would be a separate be series as well. All sorts of allegories. I, I did. Yeah. Allegories on Mary Magdalene. I did uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth the first and whatever. So I, you really do a lot of research and when you do yeah, your I, work. Yeah, I love the history and the looking yeah. up all the history on the internet and everything like that. Great. Yeah. But the problem with the, with these is that if I was sitting in a gallery, I couldn't work with them. Oh, okay. You couldn't work while you were still. Yeah, no. You just can't bring those materials in a gallery. Yeah. They smell. Uh, they're too hot. They, you know. Yeah. It's just impossible. And a friend of mine, who uh, was one of the original founders of Hope Gallery when it was a cooperative gallery way back when, um, Sarah Fielding Gunn. Said Jay, you've got to get in pastel. Oh, I know that. I've. I don't think I've met her, but I recognize that oh, name. Sure, you've seen yeah. her paintings. Yeah. And uh, she says, "I'll teach you pastels if you teach me encaustic." Hmm. So we bought it and it's we did, sort of... and she got me into pastels. Yeah. Which I loved because of the drawing aspect. I just love the drawing. Mm-hmm. Also, and now this would be the. I'll f pan up to this as right. one of your pastels here. Right. This is one of my pastels here. Yeah. The first of the clown series, and and how many are are, are in your th clown there are series? Nine, nine of these in the clown series. Okay. Uh, there were three just imaginative, like this one is, and then I, I did uh, six cl uh, Facebook friends. For, I. I did their portraits and made them a clown. Oh, okay. And you based it, you based it on them, <laughs> right? And turned right. them into a clown. And, uh, three of them are imaginary, like this one is. Yeah. And others are real people. Oh, beautiful and nice, nice details. Well, um, and now is this over here? You've got another clown. Is yeah, this, this is, is clown. well? That's also pastel, that's or is pastel? And but it's a grisaille, uh, black and white. Okay. Monochrome. And I love the work every once in a while in monochrome. Just so I was always teaches thinking you, it was teaches you charcoal. values. You use you, you use a very little color to uh, provide the line and texture that's required. Hmm. Beautiful. So it's all done with values. Okay. It's, so yeah, it's got to be a lot more difficult instead yeah. of. And again, you probably would work. Would you work dark to light or light to dark? Yeah, that dark way, to dark light. to light. With always. Pastels. It's always dark to light. Yeah. And again, but past, these pastels are all done on sanded paper. Oh, okay. The sanded little... paper will hold layers. So, since I started with oils originally, I kind of got used to doing layers. Yeah, yeah. I I did a lot of glazing with my oh, okay. oils. Okay. So. What it is, you start from dark to light. I'm going to try to get light. a little bit of a close-up so you can really yeah. see the details of it. Dark to light, and you start with a dark color, and then uh, put some dark color in, fix it. 
then add a little lighter color and you build up layers, layers on top from dark to light and how long does it take this fixative like work pretty quickly pretty quick. yeah i use what they call degas fixative which is not like the hairspray <laughs> it doesn't smell or anything like that okay. uh, degas and uh, Cassar, very famous pastel artist, you know, in the impression of period, used uh, casein. Casein is like a milk protein. Mm -hmm. And Spectrafix made it uh, with alcohol in it, so, and it, you can spray it out of a Windex bottle. Mm -hmm. So you spray the casein and alcohol on it. And within 15 minutes, it's dry, and you can start working on it again. And then you create another yeah. layer. Yeah. And you, so you build up these layers so they're very much like oils, not as much as good as oils, but you will get light entering in. So it's not like you're mixing you're different out. shades. You're, you're actually working with the different shades and just light, lighting it up. It's right. how you want by the layers. Exactly. Amazing. Really, really, really nice. Okay, and now we have uh, this. All these two are also. Uh, well, I have a love for doing or? portraits. I'm gonna this is get a portrait a of my of granddaughter. Okay. And I probably my three granddaughters. I've probably done about thirty portraits of them. Yeah. <laughs> because they're very, very easy models for me to. <laughs> they'll they'll uh, work for me for nothing. <laughs> that's yeah. That's good. Nothing is. That's a good price. Yeah. And uh, I just love doing portraits because, um, again, this is all done on sanded paper with layers, uh -huh. and you're doing it with your fingers. It's finger painting. Okay. And you're applying it with your fingers? Right. I have to use a surgical glove. You mm -hmm. can buy them over at the dollar store, 10 in a package for a dollar. And I use the surgical gloves because the grit on the sandpaper will kind of turn your fingers red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, so it must be a really fine grit sandpaper, I would think. No, it's no, uh, it's... about 400 grit. Okay. Now, there was only one company that made sanded paper uh, up until about two or three years ago. Now all the big companies like Sonalye and, oh, they're all making... and, 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 now, and, and Amp, they make a a sanded board. Mm -hmm. Now they're all making it, and some of them are offering grits for like 200 to 800. Yeah. Just like you went in Home Depot and bought sandpaper. Really? You know? huh. so, Interesting. Uh, yeah. And now this is uh, the last piece we have. Yeah. This piece is in the current show, and this is actually one of my favorites. I love this piece. Yeah, that's um, an abstraction. It's not abstract in the sense that Everything there is representative. You, mm -hmm. you know what it is. Yeah. Right. I've done that's some what I like about it. It's work. so. It, this is a tough piece to kind of pull off because it's, it's you know figurative. Yet, how do you make it look like, you know, it's such a tough thing to do. <laughs> that's why well, I like I, it so it's much. Just, I I do it. Uh, I always plan a painting and I do it with uh, theory I learned in in my training at RISD was Molly Bang. She used glyphic cutouts. Mm -hmm. So I looked at various images and I would, i cut them out. And I, you know? Yeah. So good. I would uh, design it. Beautiful. Really, really I'd nice. Like that. Well, we're coming to the end of our interview sure. and um, we're really glad that you came and, and talk to us about your work um, and we'll have you back again because we know J Jay is like one of the smartest people I know and he can go on and give us a nice history lesson of all kinds of things about pastels so maybe we'll have you back for that history. <laughs> <laughs> that's good um, well thank you for joining us and uh, you'll be able to see more work of Jay's in the upcoming show which will be uh, Tuesday November 17th from 4.30 to 7.00 and we'll be talking to you very soon again, Jay. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Rich. Bye.